Hello everyone, this is Brian at BS and Tech Networks. Today I'm going to bring to you a video tutorial on how to manage and take care of your newsletter system. First of all, if you have not received your login information to your website admin, please let us know and we will promptly get that information over to you. In order to access and update your newsletter information, you do need to be logged into the admin panel of your website. In this example, we have already loaded uh, the newsletter system onto a customer's website and so we're using their site for this tutorial. Over here is a program called MailPoet. So this is the newsletter system. There are several options when you hover over it. You've got forms, subscribers, lists, settings, help, and premium. So in this tutorial we're just going to show and touch on a couple of these because we have generally already set up the forms for you and also the lists. Uh, also, the settings are completed too, but we can touch on some of these settings. First of all, the easiest part is subscribers. We're going to click on subscribers. What this will do is this is going to show you a list of your people that are subscribed, unsubscribed, or whatever status the customers are in. So, as you can see here, there are 15 customers that are subscribed. There are zero unconfirmed zero unsubscribed and then there's a couple of other ones in here too. So what does subscribed mean? Subscribed means these are the individuals that are going to receive your email when you send them out. If they are in this subscribed list they will get the emails. Next, unconfirmed. With this newsletter system a customer or somebody that wants to subscribe has to click on an activation link in their email. So if they go to your website, they put in their email address, they will initially get an email saying, hey, thanks for signing up. Please click this link to activate your subscription. So for customers that have subscribed, or they want to subscribe, but they have not yet clicked that activation link, they will be under the unconfirmed section. And that's just to make sure that somebody actually did request to be subscribing to your uh, newsletter. There's a lot of spammers and robots that might fill out the form automatically and then the email address never gets confirmed so therefore they stay stuck in this unconfirmed status and they don't make it over to the subscribed status. Next is unsubscribed. That's pretty self-explanatory. That was somebody that used to be a subscriber. They got one of your emails they decided that they don't want to subscribe or receive your messages anymore so they click a link saying unsubscribe when they do that they then get removed from the subscribed and then they then become into the unsubscribed these other two settings here inactive after a period of time the newsletter system will keep stats on how many people are opening your email and how many people are actually clicking a link or something in your emails for customers or subscribers that do not create an action or they don't open your email, over time they are going to get moved to this inactive list. If they're not opening your email, then the newsletter system is kind of smart enough to figure out, well, maybe this person does not want the emails, so they just move it to the inactive list. And it prevents somebody from having to unsubscribe. Lastly is bounced. So you send an email out to somebody and the subscription system gets a bounce back saying this, this email address is no longer valid. So someone could have subscribed, they canceled their email address, and then so the, their email address is no longer valid. They would then get put on this bounced list. Okay, so that takes care of the information on the different types of subscribers. What happens if you want to export this list to an Excel file or something else? Pretty easily, you come up here and hit export. What about importing? Say you have been keeping track of people if you have a storefront and you have something at your front desk saying subscribe to our newsletter and then people can write down their name and their email address. In that case, what you can do is you can come over here to import and you would be able to create a file or you could just even paste the data into a text box. As you can see here, you could just go through and type in all of their email addresses and then go to next step and then you could import 
those email addresses into your list. All right, let's go ahead and look at settings next. So we go to settings, and there's several items in here. In this case, like I said, we usually set all of this up for you, and there really isn't a whole lot of changes that you need to come in here and do. So when your newsletters are sent out, it's going to show from this person, or this is going to be the from, and then this will be the email address. So that's important. If you change your email address or you want it to show it's coming from a different email, you can come in here and change that. Uh, subscription pages, again, these are all usually set. Uh, stats notifications. If you want to receive the stats information for your mailings, you can come in here and you can put in the email address that you want to receive those messages from. Uh, new subscribers. Do you want to get an email each time that somebody subscribes to your list? If so, choose yes and put in the email address there as well. So that pretty much takes care of that page. Next is the sign up confirmation. So this is the email that goes out after somebody puts in their email address on your website. This is what kicks off the activation. So in this case, you can change whatever content or whatever material you want, but it's very important that you leave this in here. This creates the link. It's a, it's a unique link that's automatically created based on that email for them to click on and activate their subscription. But if you wanted to change this information or change the business name, something like that, this is where you can go to do that. Uh, there's other things in here, but I think that's pretty much all you need when it comes to the settings. All right, lastly, this is the part that probably most of you are waiting for. How can I send emails to my subscribers? So what we do is we click on emails. Generally, anytime that you send an email, it will keep a history of all of your emails here. Over here, it also says opened, clicked. So you'll be able to see the statistics for each of your emails that you send out. So the first one is the newsletters. Uh, if you do blog posts on your website, you can also set up an automatic blog post under the post notifications. So first of all, let's go ahead and create an email. Up here, you click on add new. And then it asks you, what do you want to do? Are you wanting to create a newsletter? Do you want to do a welcome email? Or do you want to do uh, latest post notifications and again this is if you have a blog on the website it will automatically send an email to all your subscribers the moment that you add a blog item so it's it uh, it's automatic it does it for you but for this tutorial we're gonna do a newsletter so let's hit create when you come in here you have several different types of design so these are some different templates or that you can use to send an email find one that you like the best that you would like to send out so we can go through and you can see there's lots of different designs on here and again all the pictures can be changed out so you don't have to uh, worry about oh well I don't want these pictures on here I'm just gonna do something really simple I'm just gonna select this simple one here so you hit select and then that takes you to the editor where you can then create your own item or your own newsletter and it's kind of giving you a little bit of a tutorial here the first time that you go through it but I'm gonna go ahead and click X and you can see here if I want to change the logo click on the logo this pops out and then you are able to select an image find an image that you want to use in this case how about we just use this customers logo and it automatically pops it right in there hit done alright that's saved You'll notice here it says, hi, subscriber first name. This will automatically put in the, the customer or the subscriber's name if they have provided that. Again, same thing. Click in here, and then you can just start adding in the text and the information that you want. You'll see a box come up where you can change the centering, bold, italics, underline, text colors, bullet points, the whole works. So you have a lot of different items in here. Here's a button. If you want to click on that, you can make a button. And if you want it to link to your website, you can put in the website address. So I'm going to just put in ours, www.bsintech.com. And again, with the website stats, or this, uh, the stats for the newsletter, it will tell you how many times somebody has clicked on a link in your newsletter, and also how many times somebody has opened your newsletter. 
so that's why it might be a good idea to put a link to your website and that also gets people to easily click on it and then they can go shop at your site or see what you have same thing so I have that if I want to change the colors I can you know you got this little color tool here so select the color that you want and then you click anywhere I want to center that you can see that it centers it so it's very very simple to create these and then I hit done alright so that is done down at the bottom you'll see thanks for reading see you soon that's just another text box that you can modify down here at the bottom you should never remove these items here based on the spamming laws you are required to have an unsubscribe link so anybody that does not want to receive your newsletter anymore can easily click and opt out but down here you can certainly put in your your mailing address or just delete that altogether all right down here you've got a couple of options you can hit save if you hit the arrow uh, you can export it as a template uh, as well but we want to go ahead and hit next and then that takes us to the next process okay the next thing it's asking for the subject what is the subject line that you want to have for your newsletter so when somebody receives this in their email this will be the subject that they see you know uh, you could do something like big savings for July 4th uh, something that's catchy something that will try to get people to open up their news your newsletter lists uh, so you click here and this is again where you'll select the list that you want to send to this customer has an e-commerce site so they have this WooCommerce customers as well so they can select this one uh, if you also want to send it out to the regular subscribers you can select that one so you can select multiple lists that this email will go out to again you're prompted with the information on how do you want this to appear in the from box so usually in your email it will show who the email is from that's what would be filled in here and then the actual email address if somebody hits the reply button on the email this is where it would be sent to so everything is good another option schedule it if you don't want this email to go out right away you can hit the schedule box put in the date and time that you want this to go out so the very handy feature to do pops up with a box you can choose what date that you want it to go out and I want it to go out at 8 a.m. alright next thing in this case it says schedule because we wanted to schedule it but if I uncheck this box you'll see it changes to send and that's it so once you hit the send or the schedule it is ready to go or you can hit save as a draft so I'm gonna click this just to show you what happens so I'm gonna hit save as a draft and close alright so that takes us back to the email section if you notice up here at the top so now you can see that this is the newsletter that we have created but the status says not sent yet so it's not yet been sent if we are ready to send it out click on the subject it goes through it gives you everything again just to make sure it's all correct hit next gives you the information again here and then you can hit send obviously since this is just a test we aren't going to send this out but that is generally how you can set up the newsletters and send out the emails to your subscribers hopefully this uh, video tutorial is very helpful for you but if you have ran into any problems or you have any questions on certain aspects of the newsletter system definitely reach out to us and we would be happy to explain how to use this or answer your questions alright well thank you for watching this again is Brian at BSN Tech Networks